you were involved in the uh, peace dialogue between Thai government and uh, representatives of some of the separatist movements. But uh, the talks didn't seem to help with the situation on the ground. And I don't think there's been much of a show of appreciation on the Thai side. Do you think it was worth your try in playing the role of an intermediary? It is always worth trying. I never thought that this is going to be easy. Uh, everywhere else also it has taken a lot of time to resolve such problem. But it is not entirely impossible to resolve these things, provided there is a willingness on both sides to see the other side's uh, viewpoint. In your talks with them, you had two rounds of talks with them, right? Yeah. And did you sense any common grounds between the Thai side and the, the separatist movement side? One of the things that we have to remember is that there is no one sub single group under one command. If you have one single group under one command, then you can talk to the, to the leaders. But here I sense that there are many small disparate groups uh, and they were largely acting on their own. So the people I talked to represent only uh, maybe, I don't know, a fairly small number of uh, people. So they cannot uh, uh, tell the others that this is the line to follow. That is a problem. I see. And, and that, you mentioned this and then this brings up questions about suspicions that some of the Thais may have about you. Because that's by your efforts. I mean, certain quarters of Thai people, including those in the government, are suspicious of your motive. I mean, some even believe that uh, these people have your support. And some of the uh, terrorist acts in Thailand were even plotted on this island, your island. Mm -hmm. How would you respond to these kind of uh, uh, no accusations? Case. When we met in Langkawi, it was really to find a way out for this. We are interested because a lot of these people have got relatives across the border. They are not just residents of Thailand. There are many of them, uh, uh, their relatives are living in Malaysia. So we have to take an interest to see that they do not uh, unduly expose themselves to danger to being killed for no very good reason. But you are admitting that some of these people I mean, are residents in Malaysia, but doesn't that give rise to suspicions that uh, Malaysia is harboring some of the... Uh, so long as service. they are not actively responsible for acts uh, of terror in Thailand, they are welcome to stay here. You mean you don't have proof that these people are involved in, in the no. terrorist acts in Thailand? Proof that we can, uh, we can accept, of course there have been accusations against them, but they are, some of them are working here, and uh, they don't seem to be active. I mean, our police or special branch would know if they are active. But uh, some people in, in Thailand see these uh, represent who claim to be representative of organizations like Pulo, Bersatu, and BRN as being the old guards, I mean, who may not have any influence at all over those responsible for violence in Thailand. It is possible that they have lost uh, interest, which would be very bad because we, they are the people who have, who have come to realize uh, how far they can go. Uh, but there will always be young leaders, extreme leaders on the fringes in any such uh, situation. But do you think this younger generation of leaders are willing to talk the way that these people were? Well, if they see these people succeed, uh, even uh, to a certain small degree, they will be much more willing to, uh, to follow the line taken up by these old leaders. But these uh, people, uh, the representatives of Pulo, I mean, uh, Bersatu and BRN, what did they tell you they exactly want? They tell me that they understand that they cannot expect independence, they cannot expect autonomy, but what they want to see is that the, their, their part of Thailand uh, is uh, given the same treatment uh, as the other parts of Thailand. In other, in other words, they want to see development, they want to see their people educated, they want to see their people employed, they want to see uh, business being done in the south, like in other parts of Thailand, which uh, they consider to be progressing very fast.
but the peace talks seem to be in a limbo now because you said recently that you have been told to back off from this mediation I mean effort well the, the Minister of Foreign Affairs said that there was uh, no such thing they didn't tell me to back off or anything like that but uh, you know sometimes uh, uh, what is said and what happens of course is uh, can be different uh, the assurance given is welcomed by me and if uh, I can be of some use I will certainly uh, try to contribute can, can you tell the Thai audience in, 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 in the in, in, known, in, in a clear term about your involvement in this whole process. As I said at the beginning, that was, there's still suspicions about your role. What, what sh how should they look at you, I mean, as far as you are involved in, in, in this? I have uh, nothing to gain uh, from, from all this. Uh, we have, as I said, harbored many people. Uh, there have been morals who come here looking for help in Sabah. We have had Achenis coming here also looking for help. But uh, you can see some of this problem we have settled. With the southern Philippines, we have worked hard to try to pacify the, the uh, people there who are not happy with their government. We have done the same thing with uh, with the Achilles and uh, uh, we are happy that uh, I think they have found a solution to that. It is all their effort, but all we did was if they are not active, they can stay here. If they are active, we'll arrest them. But what, is, what is interesting is that while you were in office, things in southern Thailand were not this bad. Uh, and. Uh, but where do you see what's the turning point in the situation in the south where things um, became to get ugly? I think the Takbai thing was very bad. Yes. I mean, these people being killed that way and no apology, that was really the, the turning point or the, the trigger that set it off on a new wave of uh, irresponsible life. You see the difference in, in your approach to what the problem in Southern Thailand and that of the present administration in KL? No, no, no difference. We tell people that first you must be stable. This country can only prosper because of stability. And this country has got lots of problems. We have different races, different religions, different cultures. But we have agreed that look, we will share things together and grow the country and your share will be bigger. I think that if the people in the South understand and they, they consider themselves as Thais, they don't consider themselves as Malays, they regard the king as their king. You see, so if they can feel, they need to feel that they have a share, an equitable share, and of course they need a little bit of a boost because they are left behind, I think uh, that will be somewhat similar to what we do here because initially you know we had Malays who were very much against the Chinese and there were rioting's and killings and things like that we put a step stop to that not by taking what belongs to the Chinese and just giving to the Malays but creating new opportunities so that the Malays will have